In today's video, we decided to talk a little bit more about E46 M3 differential and the same construction and the generation of the differential is E92 M3 and uh, E60 M5 and so on. So we're gonna dedicate this video to those differentials. What is the main problem of these differentials? I'm sure you heard of M clunk in M3 E46. This M clunk is inside of the LSD unit and in today's video, you're gonna see where does it come from. To be able to describe that as best as we can, we had to cut out one E46 M3 differential. So as I mentioned, the M clunk coming from inside of LSD unit, you can see here in this section for the internals, you see the one large spider gear, other one is connected to the clutch stack, which is here, and here is visco pump, uh, which is adding uh, a bit of progressive response inside this differential. And the significant free play can be spotted right here. Again, this is completely factory LSD unit from E46 M3. We did no tune on this differential, so it is completely factory tuned. As you can see right here, the one large spider gear holding the right side flange is here and it has significant amount of free play. The play is present also at the small spider gears and so on. What is happening when you put flange inside? So imagine guys right now, this is the differential inside of the housing at the rear end of your car. So it stands like this. So you have the right output flange right here. And then you have the axle and the wheel bearing and wheel and so on. So you can spot it right here. When you leave the car on the jack, you can feel the free play on the right side of the output flange. I'm not the strongest guy in the world. Actually, I'm not too strong at all, but you can still hear the clunking noise coming from the diff when I start moving this large spider gear. Imagine that with the 300 and more horsepower powerful engine, what does that do to these gears and the diff internals? So the M clunk is coming from here. The main reason for that is this shim. The shim is moving freely inside the diff and the gear can move freely as well. Everyone considers that as a normal because they don't have a proper solution for this problem, but that is the difference between us and other companies on the market because we do offer a solution as we couldn't take this as a normal situation if you drive a nice car as an E46 M3. So we couldn't take it as granted and we solved this problem, but we will come to that solution at the end of the video. Other side of the differential has the clutch stack, as I mentioned, which also has a significant amount of free play because in the M3, you don't have any mechanical preload because clutches are also moving freely, even with the bare fingers. So this is the free play. How does this system operate? It waits from the slip of the one wheel to engage this viscous pump. So viscous pump can engage clutch stack. That sounds pretty much intelligent solution, I can admit, but it has some flaws. The main flaw is delay that you have, especially when you drive your car on the track. So because as I mentioned, you have to have a slip of wheels to engage the clutches. And if you're a skilled driver or you're tracking your car regularly, this delay will get on your nerves and you will feel it like a problem. So we also have the solution for that. What we basically did, we engineered one simple shim, but with some differences. It is the same thickness of the original shim, so you don't have to be afraid that with our parts, you will damage some internal components of your differential. No, that would not happen because our shim is exactly the same thickness as the factory shim. The difference is that this shim is a spring shim, is a bellwell washer with amount of preload pushing to this gear 
to eliminate the free play. So it is a concave shim. Let me show you here. Now you see. It is a free play delete shim that you simply put instead of this one, which is completely flat, this shim will create ideal amount of preload on this gear, eliminating this free play completely and you won't be having M clunk anymore. Same philosophy applied to the clutch stack. This is our clutch stack, this is outer plates and this is inner plates coated with molybdenum ceramic coating as everything that we do in our technology. And you also have big preload washer, the Belleville washer that you put in the middle between viscous pump and the clutch stack. So you don't have this amount of preload. So this is how we eliminated free play and that delay that you can feel on the tread completely. Let me now dismantle this unit and show you how it looks like when you install it on the differential. And here we are with the dismantled differential completely so you can see what is happening inside. This shim placed right here facing like this and then spider gear, one pair of small gears. And here it is, assembled unit. We got free play delete shim right here. We have preload shim right here. The clutch stack has no more free movement, but still it can breathe, as you can see. We calculated this uh, preload shim to provide between 100 and 140 Nm of the preload, which is actually ideal for any kind of use. If you want to drive your car on the street regularly, every day, you won't have any problems, any troubles with unpleasant noises, grinding noises when doing U-turns and so on. But still, if you visit a track, decide to mount a slick tires on your car and go to some serious tracks to beat some serious time, you will have the performance from your differential to back up your needs. And again, what is the most important part? You won't have any clunk anymore. This is standing really firmly and you won't have any trouble with the M-clunk, which has a bad influence on your axles as well. As I showed you, too much free play on the output flange provides destabilized rotation of the axle and thus it negatively influences on the longevity of your axles. And we all know the axles for the E46 M3 and the E92 M3 are not cheap. So this solution will save your axles as well so you can save some money instead of spending them on the new ones and cracking them again because of the bad differential. This is the racing diff solution that we provide. We provide it for all M differentials after year 2000. You can check on our website. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it as we had to kill one innocent E46 M3 LSD unit to cut it and show you the internals and what is going on inside of the differential. If you liked us, hit the subscribe button and see you on the racetrack.